Okay, this is part three of Cloner tutorial. We bring the tutorial, uh, we bring the cloner <coughs> and bring a, a cube here. You can holding Alt before select the cube and holding Alt to do this automatically. In a cloner, uh, the honeycomb will be remain and I want to explain it. This is a honeycomb. If you select it, this is especially for creating honeycomb pattern. Here in the handle, as you can see, with a, a size and width and height, you can change it. Or if you want to equal width or height, you can give a exact number here. Okay. But in a handle, you can click and drag and change the or width and height. And with this handle, you can change the count and number of the objects in a width and height. Interesting. But the most important thing here is offset. As you can see, you can change the offset of rows and columns to make this pattern. The <clears throat> 50 is nice. And in a form, you can uh, make it a circle, square, or from a spline. You can, for example, add the <clears throat> inside the spline here and make it a bigger and you can select the cloner and click and drag this slider in this to define the spline and if you change the number of the counts as you can see it just remain in the uh, remain in <clears throat> this circumference of that uh, end goal. but the main purpose of uh, Let's begin from scratch. But the main purpose of the honeycomb is actually for this inside honeycomb for. You can uh, <clears throat> go in here and extrude it. Okay. And as you can see, as I said before, you can uh, use any common for cloner. Clone this extrude. Go into the cloner and make it honeycomb now this is the main purpose of that here you can change the width and the height and here it is interesting this main purpose of <clears throat> the honeycomb is exactly this you can change the plane if you want as you can see this direction in this direction the last thing of cloner that i want to explain is an object and fixed texture I bring a simple plane here and change its uh, <clears throat> orientation is uh, Z and bring it in a cloner and uh, make it a grid, yeah, but just in this direction and uh, change slightly a little this offset. Sorry, we have to turn the model mode, don't forget that. Oh, I think the number of them are very huge. Change the distance. Yeah. <clears throat> the number in this direction. Mm -hmm. Nice. I want to assign two texture to this uh, cloner. You can simply uh, click and drag a texture, just a texture inside. Uh, but I want to delete from now and do it again. From your folder, it's very easy. This message will be pop up. We will be explain the default material editor of this software. Don't worry, just say no. And as you can see, it's bring the texture here you can click and drag up inside the cloner as you can see we have a texture here uh, <clears throat> you can go to the texture mode and uh, take uh, change it but in a texture tag i want to change the projection instead of uv w map to the flat as you can see <clears throat> it's because we have a flat object it's 
project for line i will be explain them in detail don't worry but as you can see it's uh, bring to the both side i want to just bring it to the uh, front oh this is the front of that okay as you can see uh, the texture just go to the front <clears throat> and i want to fit the whole object we have a just plain object but it's clone you can right click to the this tag and fit to the object yeah and as you can see it's fit uh, to the object okay uh, it's it's as you can see i think it is <clears throat> uh the texture fixed texture i think i will be explain it don't worry uh it is uh, exactly mirrored here you can go to the texture and completely rotate the angle of rotation to 180 and as you can see it will be correct yeah explain it don't worry it's in texture you can <clears throat> rotate you can move the texture it's a tile you can scale the texture you have to go to the this mode don't forget okay but uh, we are going to the back to the our module as you can see this in front and back nice we click and drag other texture on it we have to go and make it to the flat again <clears throat> then right click fit to the object yeah and here our object we can uh, change it or but uh, in this case i want to bring it to the back and okay we have a front and a back texture if you go into the cloner <clears throat> in a transfer you can rotate the texture okay as you can see you can rotate the texture but interesting part happened here as you can see if you rotate the object you can see the texture is stick on a <clears throat> cloner because in a cloner you can hold shift to bring all of them uh, but in a cloner fixed texture is off if you turn it straight and then going to rotate it uh, in this direction as you can see the texture will be rot uh, <clears throat> cut and rotate with a uh, cloner as you can see the texture does not stick on a uh, cloner uh, if the texture if you for example change mm, i think it's this face better as you can see the texture is broken uh, and it's not correct in that direction let's see alternative x or alternative y maybe uh, fix them or off if you change it off as you can see because the texture does not uh, look at the changing the position of cloner it just project in one direction uh, you can use it okay you can you understand the difference between off and on <clears throat> now the alternative x and y is if you uh it's actually you can uh, fix the direction of the texture here but i prefer to use uh, this rotation if you want to change the orientation of your texture it's better and easy to understand but in this is and i want to uh, explain the difference between off and straight if it's off it's just projection in one direction and does not concern the rotation or any transfer of the uh, cloner object but if you turn it straight it stick on every single object as you can see because the texture is stick in this texture if you bring your texture in the back you have to you can see this issue here so uh, you have to use in your purpose be careful about this that's it hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release